Pink Dream. Hello, everyone. Trying a different camera angle because a very trusted advisor and friend whom I love told me I should do that. And so I'm doing that. Um, I'm sitting on a pillow and because uh, I have restrictions, I, you know, I have this tripod, it's as short as it can go. So I don't know what else to do, but maybe I'll try sitting in different places or something like that. But anyway, I also let my hair air dry. So it's straight, this is how my hair is normally. And I don't like it because it's fine and it gets thin. But anyway, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to share some nice messages about getting through the pain. The pain stream. <coughs> so here we go. The acid test of our faith in the promises of God is never found in the easygoing, comfortable ways of life, but in the great emergencies, the times of storm and of stress, the days of adversity when all human aid fails. Ethel Bell. Oh, that is the acid test of our faith. So have faith and maybe it won't be tested. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works, but you could try. Um, which reminds me, oh my goodness, comfortable ways of life, but in the great emergencies and times of storm. We had this um, snow squall today, which, you know, they sent out, my phone went, rah, rah, and uh, yeah, I read it and was like, okay, whatever. Whatever, snow squall, like how bad could it be? Oh my goodness. I took some pictures. I was texting someone, and in the time it took the three little dots to actually become a text, the sky just went from sunny to black, and then snow came. It was crazy. And it was weird because it said the, the emergency, I don't know, I got it earlier in the day, maybe around one or something, and it said uh, snow squall alert until 4.15, and it was exactly four that it happened. And from four to 4.04, .04, it was a huge, four o'clock it was sunny, and then 4.04, .04, it was a massive snowstorm. And then by 4.15, it was just, you couldn't see anything outside. Anyway, it was interesting. Just thought I'd share. Because it was crazy, you know? I mean, to never have seen that in my life, weird. Snow squall. Where does that, I mean, we live in the mid-Atlantic. This is not a thing we get. Oh well, it went away already, so that's good. Next, the more we depend on God, the more dependable we find he is. And Cliff Richard, and that's so true, right? Um, the more that we trust in the infinite maestro, the more that we find that we can. Um, and I think that's really more just about changing your, your mind about things. Because most of this is just that. Most of this is just changing your mind about the way that you see these difficult times. Because you will get out of them. I mean, what are you going to do? Spontaneously combust? No. It's going to be difficult, but that's just how life gets. Everyone has difficulty, and I know some people think some people have more than others, and, and some people's situation is obviously easier than others, but, um, you know, just because you don't see someone else's troubles doesn't mean they don't have them. It just means that they're not showing them outwardly. And sometimes the people who seem to have it the most together are the ones that are most crumbling behind the scenes. Think about that. How often we look upon God as our last and feeblest resource. We go to him because we have nowhere else to go. And then we learn that the storms of life have driven us not upon the rocks, but into the desired haven. Oh, George MacDonald, that gives me chills. It's true. Right, maybe your life was unbalanced. Maybe the spiritual side of your life whatever, however that uh, expresses itself, has been neglected. And time to get a crash course in that, literally. 
Um, I know that's the case for me. It's hard. It's hard not to get sucked up, though, into the everyday of work and physical and life. Um, but it's important to have a balance. All who listen to me will live in peace and safety, unafraid of harm. Proverbs 133. All who listen to me will live in peace and safety, unafraid of harm. Anyone who listens to my teaching and obeys me is wise, like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Matthew 7:24. Like the little pigs. Made his house of brick. This, that's not, I was gonna say this little piggy went to market, but that's not that. I don't remember, but you know the three little pigs. He set my feet on solid ground and steadied me as I walked along. Psalm 42, 42. Okay. <clears throat> and finally, in the sea of love, I melt like salt. Faith, doubt, they both dissolve. A star is opening in my heart. The world's turn in it. Tulal Uddin Rumi, translated by Andrew Harvey, Lesson 108 from A Year of Rumi. In the sea of love, I melt like salt. Faith, doubt, they both dissolve. A star is opening in my heart. The world's turn in it. That's beautiful. In the sea of love, I melt like salt. Mm. You are in the sea of love, and you're part of it. And there's nothing else to say about that. Just try to believe it. All right. Peace out.